Hello, I got my first Rubik's Cube back around 1975 when I was about 10 years old. And back then there were no guides as to how to solve it. So I spent pretty much the whole summer figuring it out myself and coming up with my own algorithms. For the most part, I solve it in a fairly traditional way, solve the top layer, then the middle. But when it comes to the bottom layer, I have a few different algorithms than others that I've seen. And um, I've never seen them online anywhere and I thought they were worth sharing because they're generally useful for not just the regular cube, but other cubes in general. And um, maybe somebody likes these algorithms and wants to make use of them in different ways. So I thought I'd demonstrate them. I'll start with a regular cube and um, rather than doing standard notation, I'll, I'll attach it in the notes maybe, but I kind of think of it a different way. So I, I usually orient blue on the top and white to the front. And um, so the first one I want to show you is, is actually a really simple algorithm for orienting just two corners uh, by clockwise or counterclockwise. And so this following algorithm will do the top right and the opposite. So if I wanted to do, you know, any two that were next to each other, I could always just, like let's say I want to do these two blue ones in the front, the blue whites, I can always just position that blue white there in the opposite corner. So I'll just leave it as normal though for now. I think that's pretty easy. But here's my algorithm. Basically, if you do a right prime to bring that down, I just think of it as right down, and then do a double bottom, and then bring the right back, so a right normal. And then if you go to the back, you do a back prime, and then do a double top, and then do a back like that and then repeat the process. So the way I think of it is I'm bringing this cube here down, swapping it around to the other back corner, bringing this one back up, and then bringing that same one that's now in the back, bringing it up, so it's right there, flipping it around at the top level. And when it's all said and done, you can see that it rotates the top one clockwise by 120 degrees and the opposite one. So to undo it again, I just go down, double, up, up, double top, back, and then repeat. And it's so second nature to me. And there you have it. You have a really easy way to just reorient. So I know most people would do the, you know, do the down, up, down, up like that multiple times. You see that orients that one, but it also affects three others. So this is a nice alternative that doesn't mess everything else up. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that one and stay tuned for a few other algorithms.